You all right, love? Yeah, why? You seem miles away. <laughs> yeah. What is it? I saw Paddy last night. And? <sighs> we nearly got back together again. At least he told me that he loved me. And you still love him, don't you? I don't know what to do. You want my advice? If you still love each other and you do nout about it, you'll regret it for the rest of your lives. But what do my uncles like to say? It's your life, Mandy, not his. I know what I'd do in your place. <gasps> oh, what a lovely surprise! <laughs> Why do some folk think you dingles aren't civilised? Oh, what, what you doing? Whatever we do, we mustn't abuse Rachel's kind hospitality. But, what now? Have you no manners? Huh? When you drink from a china cup, you do it like this. Do you? Well, that's what they do in China. <laughs> Has left these in the bathroom. That were butch. Them are yours, Dad. Are they? Oh, I, sorry. <laughs> That's my best china. You look like you've been up half the night. Couldn't sleep. Steve, you mustn't let Chris get to you. Yeah, he's not going to give it up, though, is he? Well, he can't prove anything. Look, there isn't a scrap of evidence against us. There never will be. Yeah, I know, I know. Even Inspector Spaulding believes we couldn't have had anything to do with it. Hmm. Come on, let's get to work. We've still got to keep up appearances. What is it? Are you going to tell me where the money's hidden? No. You don't trust me, do you? Steve, we've been through this. If only one of us knows where it is, then it reduces the risk. Now, is this a problem? Because if it is, I'd like to know. Don't you trust me? Of course I do. Then it isn't a problem, is it? Come on. You settling in all right, then? Mm. Everyone's made me very welcome. Mm. Well, I'd be very surprised if they hadn't, cos we're a friendly bunch, you know. We are better, and some are more friendly than others. Eh, uh, Graham? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Well, take uh, hmm, Rachel, for example. She's very friendly, isn't she? Rachel and I. Just are... good friends. Nice one, Graham. Oh, leave the lad alone, Marlon. You can see you're embarrassing him. No, it, it's all right. No, your private life is your own business, love. And if there is anything going on between you and Rachel, it's now to do with the rest of them in this village. There's nothing going on. Are you sure? Pretty sure, yeah. That's a shame. Because Rachel could do with a bit of happiness after the history behind her. Can I have Jim Braithwaite to your list of calls? One of his pregnant heifers is in distress. Yeah, sure. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do we... No, no, I'm not, no. Mandy. I saw her last night and I thought we were going to make it up. Well, what happened? Well, I just can't see us getting it together again. Too much has happened in between and I really miss her, you know. Well, if you both feel the same. Yeah, but blood's thicker than water, isn't it? And her family mean everything to her. If you ask me, you've only got yourself to blame. Yeah, well, I didn't ask you, did I? If you weren't so tight-fisted, you'd still be together. Kelly? Well, thank you, Kelly. Um, I really needed that. Well, it's true. Sometimes your sensitivity amazes me. Thanks. Oi! Monday. Hiya. Uh, what are you doing here? What do you think? But well, I thought after uh, what you'd said last night. Oh, I'll kill you, Paddy Kirk. Why? Well, there's me thinking that I got over you. And then what do you go and do? You tell me that you love me, and then give me a big cuddle. And now, now I can't get you out of my flaming head. Monday. Are you doing it again? No, it's good though, isn't it? Oh, you. <laughs> Big, soft, goodly day. Oh, I don't ever want to lose you. I've realised that now. Then you won't. Oh, but it's been a terrible time. 
Your Uncle Zack and Lisa have been arguing. I'm so sorry. I can't believe you want me back. I'm gobsmacked. Yeah, I know. Slap me in your gob several times. But you're still a rotten, lousy, penny-pinching scumbag. No one's perfect. Ay, ay, ay. What's your Uncle Zack gonna say? Well, that's what I'm worried about. But Lisa's gonna have a word, you know. Smooth the path. Come here. I've been thinking. The money, I'm not happy about it. Are you going to tell me where you've hidden it? Please, Steve, will you trust me? Look, I do, but what... Can't you see I'm doing this for your benefit? Well, no, actually, I can't. I'll tell you something, Steve. You surprised me. I really thought you'd be able to handle all this pressure much better. But as usual, I'm the one who has to take control. I have a right to know where that money's hidden. Aren't you listening to me? But what if something happens to you? I beg your pardon. I mean, an accident I, I or something. I don't believe I'm hearing this. What are you saying? No, no, that's not what I meant. Look, I'm sorry, but it's just not knowing, it makes me feel vulnerable. How right I was not to tell you where I hid that money. Is this a conspirators' conference? Well, if it isn't Sherlock Holmes, why don't you give up? Now, that would suit you, wouldn't it? You're a sad man, Chris. Oh, yeah. But I'll be very happy when I've proved you both guilty. And I will. Not again. Both of you, just get back to work. I've had enough of this. Chris is out of control, Laura. How are you getting back? I'm going to get a taxi to Hotton, then a bus. Well, when are you planning on leaving? Well, I thought I'd help out in the bar over lunchtime, then get off. That's very kind. I, I shall miss you, Tricia. I'm going to miss you too, Grandad. You know, I still get a tremble down my spine when you say that word, Grandad. I find it hard to believe. You so do I. You don't look old enough. You're a little <laughs> flatterer, Tricia Stoke. And I like it. It's a shame you have to go so soon, though. I know, Grandad. But, you know, there's me mates and me job. You made a lot of friends here in a very short time. And thanks to you, you're dead popular, aren't you? The landlord of the village pub usually is. <laughs> oh, hey, up. Nearly ready. Just off to pack. Why don't you ask her to stay? She wants to. What do you think she does? I know she does. This is a surprise. I won't keep you. I know you're as busy as I am. It's about your brother. Oh, and this vendetta he's waging against the merchants. I know all about it. Well, it's turning into an obsession, and it's affecting the efficient running of Home Farm. And you think he'll listen to me? Why should he? I've already told him that Kim and Steve didn't leave the cottage all evening. So he's getting out of hand. Well, I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do. <sighs> Which is a pity, because if he carries on like this, I'll have no option but to throw him out of Home Farm. You know, you look so at home behind this bar. Do you reckon I make a good bar, mate? Good. Well, let me put it this way. I think our customers would rather be served by you than a couple of old fogies like Terry and me. Would I let Terry hear you calling him an old fogey? Are you sure you can't stay, Treasury? I can't. I'd like to, but... You're the only family I've got. Oh, Grandad. I'm sorry. I wish I could. You know what I'd like to do right now? Is it legal? Go home, get in that double bed and have a right good kip. I don't think Rachel will be too pleased about that, Dad. I don't mean Rachel's, I mean our house. Missing my own bed, something rotten. Hey, at least you've got a bed. I'm on flaming floor. Hey, up. Look at first on her. Thought I'd find you two in here. Well, where else can we go? Don't make this eviction sound like a godsend. I suppose the thought never crossed your mind to get off your fat behinds and do something about it. Of course it has. Oh, you expect me to believe that? 
Well, while you've been moping and moaning, I have been doing something about it. What? I've fixed up an appointment to see an housing officer in Leeds. Leeds? And while I'm in the mood, I'd like to talk to you about Mandy. Hey, that's a point. Where is our Mandy? She's... I had a chat with her this morning and... You know, she's really missing Paddy. I missed him the other day by about that much. Another yard and I've hit him full on. Oh, shame, Dad. My thoughts precisely. She really loves him, Zach. Not if she knows what's good for her. Cos I'm telling you, if she ever gets back together with that scumbag, I'll never speak to her again. <sighs> Thanks for taking me with you, Pat. I was dead impressed. It's all in a day's work. You saved that car. It's my job. If I got pregnant, I wouldn't need a midwife. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Come on. So, Uncle Zach will be in there. Oh, yeah, Kathy's diner instead, then. Nope, we've got to face it. And it's best that we do it together. <sighs> I'm not sure about this. Oh, don't be a coward! Andy, your Uncle Zach hates me. Not as much as your mum hates me. <sighs> she looks like Queen Victoria with toothache. Oh, she certainly doesn't look amused. Try not to upset her. I don't even have to try. Could one of you please tell me what's going on? Me and Paddy going for a drink, Mrs Kirk. I saw the pair of you kissing earlier. Not illegal, is it? You're supposed to be estranged. Uh, Mum, I've got some good news for you. Me and Mandy have just made up. You told me you wouldn't go out with him if he was the last man on earth. That was yesterday. I've changed my mind. How can you trust this girl, Patrick? She's a lying, scheming little... little... Mum, I love her. No, you're misguided. You just think you do. This is all you're doing, isn't it? But don't think you've won. This is only the start. Uncle Zach will be a pussycat compared with her. Is waiting. Well then. Come back and see you soon, eh? I won't see you. See you, Mandy. Oh, you off, Trish? Well, you take care of yourself. Thank you. What a dick. I did warn you, Zach. You're chewing a plant, this, aren't you? Don't do anything rash, Zach. Rash? Me? I'm all out. Zach. Mandy? All right, love. And Paddy. How are you, son? Oh. That won't be all I'm squeezing if you don't get out of this bar right now. Oh, don't intimidate me, Zach, because it won't work. Intimidate me? Just giving you a bit of friendly advice. Yeah, well, if I leave this bar, then Mandy's coming with me. Is that right? Yeah. Then you'd better be back here tonight. Cos I'm calling an emergency dingle conference and you are top of the agenda. I'm gonna miss this place. Well, then stay. I don't know, Grandad. Please. And well, you want to, really, don't you? Well, only if you want me to. I don't want to be a nuisance. You could never be that. So there's no argument, eh? Mm, maybe I'll stay for a bit longer, then. Good. Sorry, just change of plan. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Well, look. It's us that's important. Me and you. It's our lives, eh? So we're gonna stand firm. Because we love each other. Mm. Come in. You want us to see me? Yes. I wanted to have a chat with you. Look, before you say anything, look, this business with Chris, none of it's my fault. I know. Oh, so you're not sacking me? No. But I don't want any more confrontations between you and Chris. Yeah, well, tell him that. I'm telling you. I need to separate the pair of you. And how do you propose to do that? I need a new admin assistant for the next few months. How about it? Hiya. Hiya. Hi, you stop it then. Yeah, I don't like to disappoint Grandad, do I? What about that job of yours? I haven't got a job. You've not? No, I didn't like to tell Grandad in case he thought I was, you know, taking advantage. Truth is, I've got more going for me in Emmerdale than where I come from. But what about all your friends? 
I've no one close. Friends, they seem to disappoint me. Let me down, do you know what I mean? <sighs> Don't I just? That's why I think I'm really lucky with you. <laughs> why is that, then? Well, I think we could be really close. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we'd never be rivals, would we? You know, with blokes. Why not? Aren't you going out with Paddy? I saw you earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you really fancy him? Yeah. Why? Nothing. I suppose we've all got different tastes, eh? <laughs> 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 I'm going to see Cathy later. Can you manage on your own? Of course, can, no problem. <laughs> Just look at that little madam. <laughs> You're doing. What's it to do with you, you old bag? I beg your pardon. What's your name? Mind your own business. What's her name? It's Come not... on. What's her name? It's Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, and my name's Tottenham Hotspur. It really is Chelsea. Right then, Chelsea. Clean that up. <laughs> Get lost. Clean it up. No. Right, out the pair of you. But I've not finished my drink. I'll finish you in a minute. Out. OK, make me. I'll make you. Do as you told me. Bruce, really see your heart out, you lanky stink of bacon. Thanks, Trish. You know, well, she's the best thing to have happened to you for ages. Yes, I know. And I'm right glad you persuaded her to stay. So am I. Graham. Zack. Hi, we were uh, just saying, me and Butch are right grateful to Rachel for taking us in the way she has. You're a lucky man. And I want to be straight with you. Oh, yes. When Cupid shoots his little arrow, I'll duck. Sorry? You and Rachel. Oh. You might not realise this, Graham, but deep down, I'm one of the world's last great romantics. <sighs> no, I, I didn't realise that. Well. <laughs> now, I've said this to Rachel, and I'll say it to you. If you want that bit of privacy, I'm an understanding man. Yeah? You can rest assured me and Butch will duck. I'm not getting under your feet. Hey, not even get under your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the little lady now. <laughs> Hello, Rachel. Hiya. True to me word, I'm ducking. What's all that about? Don't ask. I think you made the right decision. I know I did. I'm sorry if I came on a bit strong before. I didn't mind. Really? Well, it's just that I thought you were leaving. Now that you're not, there's no rush, is there? Donna said you're a bit of a man-eater. You are? She even reckoned you went with some old bloke in a wheelchair. Donna! I'll flaming kill you! I didn't say it was an old bloke. His name's Chris Tay. He's actually dead good looking with loads of money and he wanted to marry me. Really? I said no, even though I was pregnant. Did she tell you all that? No. Hey, that's cool. What happened to the baby? Miscarriage. <laughs> Look at your escape then. I made the Z bed up in Donna's room for you, Chelsea. Do you want to ring her, Mum? Tell her you're OK? No. Shall I ring her? No. Fine. Well. I see you suffer from the same disease as my girls, over-politeness. Is Scott coming in later? I expect so, yes. Why? Can't wait to meet him. Donna said he's a real stud. I declare this meeting up. First on the agenda. Is our man there out of order for getting back with that no-good scumbag of the earth, Paddy Kirk? Exactly the loaded question. All those in favour say aye. Hang on a minute, Zach. What? She deserves a fair hearing. What are you on about? We can't just go to a vote like that. Shouldn't we at least hear her side of it first? I thought this was supposed to be a democratic family. Oh, of course it is. I think Lisa's right, Dad. Who asked you to open your gob? Well, go on then. I don't say I'm not a fair man. I know Paddy's hurt us all, right? And me more than most. I've tried. 
I've really tried to get him out of my head and out of my heart. But try as I have, I can't. He's the only bloke I ever loved. I think he's the only bloke I ever will love. And because of that, I've forgiven him. And now, I'd like you lot to do the same. Oh, Mandy. Oh, we're dead nice, Mandy. Have you lot finished? Good. Let's take it to the vote. All those in favour of banning Mandy from seeing Paddy Kirk say aye. 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 All those against? Nay. That's too old, Dad. It's not, is it, Einstein? Yeah, so, so what happens now? I'll tell you what happens now. Mandy, it's down to you. It's your decision. Uncle Zach, you know my decision. Yeah, but before you do anything rash, listen to this. Now, you know how I feel about Paddy. We brought him into our home as one of our own, and he betrayed us. He has hurt this family, and I know he's hurt you. And for me to see you and him walking out again together... Well, I'm sorry, love, but it'd break me heart. Uncle Zach. And it'd break me heart to not see you as part of our family. But there's only room for you, not you and Paddy. So, well, it's, it's down to you, Mandy. It's your decision. What's it going to be? Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. Well, come on, then, out with it. Kim and Steve. <laughs> you have to stop this vendetta. You know very well I was with them that night. They can't possibly have done it. They didn't do it at night. I'm convinced the real robbery took place during the day. Chris, please! I haven't worked it out yet, but I will. This obsession is getting in the way of everything else in your life. Who says? Nobody needs to say anything. It's obvious. If it's revenge you're after... Well, you need to be careful. It can destroy you. Now, don't be so melodramatic. <sighs> Listen, Zoe, I'm not giving up on this. No matter what happens, I'll find out the truth. <laughs> What happened? I'm sorry, Paddy. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> 